this is amazing. Now we have Firebase Gen Kit. So what is Firebase? You are able to build and then run web app or mobile app just in one package. This is a product by Google, but what if we can add generative AI, that is Gen AI to this mix. So you can create your application, either web app or mobile app, and this simplifies the process of adding AI to it. But now the key advantage is that you can even integrate that with Ovalama, which means you can run this completely local on your computer. This is the GenKit UI. You are able to create workflows. You are able to test your workflows. As you can see here, you can monitor the workflow every step of the way. You are able to evaluate. You are able to predefine the prompts, predefine the models, tools, retrievers, indexes, embedders, and evaluators. This makes things much more easier for AI application development. Olama with Firebase GenKit. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Firebase GenKit integration with Olama. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can install this, integrate this with the Node.js application, test your workflows and models within this interface, and much more. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, make sure you download Olama from olama.com. Now Olama pull Gemma and then click enter. This will download the Gemma model. In this first, we are going to see how to install GenKit. Second, how to set up GenKit UI. And third, how to integrate that in a Node.js application. So we are going to create a directory genkit olama mkdir and then click enter. Next, navigate to the genkit olama folder. Here we are going to install genkit by typing npm i-g genkit. i for install, g for global. So even you need a prerequisite, that is a node application. You can download node and npm from node.js.org website. Only after that you are able to install this. So now I'm going to click enter. Now it's installing the GenKit package. Now it's done. Now we are going to type npm init hyphen y and then click enter. This will automatically create a Node.js application in your current folder, which you can see here. Wrote package.json with all these information. Now we have successfully initialized the npm package. So now we have installed GenKit and also initialized the Node application. Next, we are going to set up GenKit UI. To do that, type GenKit INIT and then click enter. Now it's asking me to select few options. In this, I'm going to click the down arrow and come to node.js and then click enter. Next, I'm going to use Olama. That is my model provider and click enter. Now it's installing the required packages. That is GenKit Olama. Now it's asking me if I need to update tsconfig.json. I'm clicking enter, set if unset. It's asking me if I want to update package.json. I'm going to click set if unset. Click enter. Would you like to generate a sample flow? That is the workflow. So I'm going to type S and click enter. Now I can see GenKit successfully initialized. Type GenKit start and then click enter. Now it's automatically building the package. Then you can see GenKit tools API here. And we have GenKit tools UI is here. I'm going to open this URL and now I am in the URL. So we have one flow which was automatically created by default for us to try. So flow is nothing but a workflow. So same like a pipeline. I will show you an example code soon. In this pipeline, you can even try various different models. You enter an input. In this case, I'm going to type Italian and click run. So just one input I'm giving. So the flow behind this automatically take the input add this to the prompt and then it's giving me output as you can see here by calling the large language model. You can even trace how it worked by clicking view trace button. And here you can see first menu suggestion flow got initiated, then it used Olama. So in Olama you can see what is the user message. Suggest an item from the menu of an Italian themed restaurant. So that's the question and this is the response from Olama. So everything is tracked. So even in production, you can track all those things with this gen kit. So that is inspecting our whole workflow. Next, coming back to run, you can see 
the list of models. You can even add your own model or add as many models as you want. Here I can test the model by just entering a message. Give me a meal plan for today and click run. And it gave me a response. You can even try various other options by changing here. You can also integrate tools. You can explore this further by adding retrievers, tools, indexes, embedding, models. You can even predefine prompts. So all the tracking and testing can be done using UI. It also has API. Using that, you can trigger any of this. Now I'm going to show you an example flow and then how you can run that in a Node.js application. This might look confusing now, but let's see the code. So finally, we are going to integrate this in Node.js application. Let's see the code. So this is the directory which we just created. Just by typing genkit in it, all these files got created. So if I go to index.ts TypeScript, there I can see this code. You can see this is a pure Node.js application. It's calling the Olama endpoint. This is the basic configuration and it's using genkit x Olama package. Next, when I come down, here you can see a flow, define flow. So this is like the workflow. So here you can see the LLM response. In this, we have a subject as a variable. In our previous example, I gave Italian. So that automatically filled this prompt and it is sent to the large language model Gemma. So as a whole prompt, it will be like suggest an item for the menu of a Italian themed restaurant. So that's why we got that kind of response when we saw in the user interface. So you can even modify this prompt based on your requirement. So here we just seeing only one LLM response. We can even send this LLM response back to another large language model and that can fine tune further. At the end, we are just returning the response. So this workflow is just like a pipeline where you can call a model, format it, again call the second model, and similarly you can modify the text as per your requirement. And finally return that to the end user. So the start flow server will automatically start the server. That's what we saw, that's the user interface. But we can integrate this flow in a Node.js application. I'm going to delete this. Instead, I'm going to add response, a run flow. This will automatically run a flow, which is menu suggestion flow. So that's what I'm mentioning here. And here I'm giving the variable name, that is a subject. In this way, you are able to run this workflow. So at the top, I'm going to import comma run flow. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. So in your terminal, npm run build to build that script. Next, npm run and then start and then click enter. Now it's automatically running the request and here is the response from the large language model. And this used the workflow and generated the response. Similarly, you can create your own workflow and integrate that with the node application. You can also test this by typing genkit flow. Then we are providing the flow name and the variable name that is the subject and click enter. This way you can directly run the flow from the terminal. This can be used for debugging purpose and it's all ready now. So overall we saw what is genkit and how to install genkit, how to set up genkit UI and a quick overview. And finally we integrated that in a Node.js application. Keep in mind that I'm completely running locally on my computer which means this is really a good starting point for testing any application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.